There are a couple different tools with Inside Tripworks to help you ensure that your waivers are getting signed ahead of time, on site, in general. So let's take a look at a couple of those. Starting off in your message template library, you'll see a pre-added template titled Upcoming Reminder. This email gets sent out automatically ahead of the customer's scheduled tour date and time. You can, of course, customize your own email messaging if you prefer to write your own copy or if you just don't want to use our pre-added template. Check out our customizing email and SMS videos on that just to learn how to add your own email messaging. But selecting this email, there is a button included that says sign my waiver. So not only in their confirmation email will they have the sign my waiver button, but they'll also receive it in their upcoming reminder emails. The upcoming reminder emails are set up inside each experience. If you scroll down over, over here on the left menu, you'll see a couple different auto reminders. If we select in advance, this is where you can ensure that your upcoming reminder email is automatically set up to be sent out ahead of time. Heading over to your manifest, this is where you can take a look to see exactly who has signed and who has yet to sign their waivers. So let's say, for example, that Brandy is scheduled to come in at nine o'clock um, and we can see that two of her waivers are signed, but one is not. So to help ensure that they have a quicker check in and make sure that you have all the details you need and they've done everything that they need to do prior to the activity, you can select on the unsigned status and this will open up a menu of waiver actions. Now, let's say it's the night before and you want to send a quick reminder email and text to the customer. You can select send a reminder and this will pull up the customer's email and phone number. You can, of course, send a different email if you'd like and type in a different phone number if they have different preferences. But all you have to do is click send and they'll get a text and email sent right to their device so that they can pull up the waiver portal and complete signing. You also have the option to view a QR code. So if the customer comes in and they haven't yet signed, you can pull up this QR code, have the customer scan it, and then they complete their waiver signing. You have the option to preview the customer's waiver portal. So selecting this button will just bring you over to the customer's portal. Well, again, you can see the two people that have signed the waiver and the one that has not. Heading back over to the manifest, you do have a last option here to send the waiver to an iPad or tablet. Selecting this will allow you to select the passenger that you would like to have signed the waiver. You would select a device that you have set up inside your account. And after doing so, it will send the waiver right to that device, such as an iPad, so the customer can follow the prompts to complete their waiver signing. Check out our other video on how to set up waiver devices on your account. Lastly, your account has a unique waiver link. This URL would be youraccount.tripworks.com forward slash waiver. This generic waiver link will pull up your waiver. So again, if a customer is on site and maybe you don't have your devices set up yet, but you do want your waiver to just be listed on your iPad so customers can walk up and sign as they walk in, you can do that here. Again, your waiver link will just be your unique Tripworks URL with forward slash waiver. So your customer would then sign the waiver. Once all the details are filled out and they've added their signature, they can then agree to the document. They'll see a confirmation page, but what are the next steps? When using the waiver, the generic waiver link, these waivers will not attach directly to the trip. Instead, you'll be able to find those waivers back under your waivers portal. So when we open the waiver portal, we can see that Sarah James has signed her waiver, but there's no confirmation number because as noted, this has not yet attached to her trip. No worries, the process is super easy. If you're looking at your manifest and Sarah has just completed her waiver, you can open up the trip or the reservation that she's a part of and find her name. Select the unsigned status, browse unassigned waivers, and then you'll see Sarah's waiver in the queue. When you select a sign, it will now attach her waiver right to this reservation. It will also attach her email and phone number right onto her ticket. And that's it. Those are the different ways that you can 
set up automated waiver reminder emails. You can manage who has and who has not signed their waiver, how to collect waivers using a generic waiver link, and then how to attach those waivers right into uh, the specific reservation. If you have any questions on this, let us know.